that Mike Inell guy did some stuff for it. Yeah, he did like an animation. He did right? a bunch of animations. He did he did like three animations per arc or whatever. That dude it. is pretty interesting. Yeah. Um But yeah, it's really really good and I feel like almost no one knows about it <laughs> or whatever or like the people who do are like all on 4chan or something. Cuz I I feel like I've literally never heard anybody talk about it. Maybe just I just don't like hang out on the internet enough so I don't Maybe a bunch of people know about it. I bet a lot of people do. I bet it. I bet it, it's, it's like definitely a, like it a must certain. Must just be like a visual novel scene. I think thing. it's like certain circles. Yeah. Like, yeah. I beat it. <laughs> it <laughs> makes me sad because they're they were never like a formal fan. You know, like they called themselves Four Leaf Studios, but it was like such a rotating group of people, and yeah. like it was such a painful process because it wasn't. A they're company, all like it wasn't undisciplined internet people. Yeah, so it just took oh, forever and it was really painful <laughs> was and there was like a lot of him. drama and stuff in making it. And it turned out really well, but they, they like don't intend to ever make a thing again. And that's, that's sad to me because it's so good. Sick boss. I bonked You got a hell of banana. I got a giant banana. With I could like, Nintendo sticker I could, like, on it. sleep in that banana. <laughs> you could sleep up in that <laughs> banana. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be an in which on one of these episodes. <laughs> in which we could sleep up in that banana. <laughs> now we're in a new area. Make you can tell minds. how hurried I was when I'm when I'm like uploading these videos or whatever, when I'm typing the in witches by how early the thing, the reference yeah. occurs in the video. Yeah. Cuz if it occurs in the first couple of minutes that means that I'm I like got to get it up right now <laughs> and I just I just got to get it up. I gotta get it up. <laughs> in which we gotta get it up. <laughs> number two. Oh yeah. I have to now. I have to choose between those two, unless unless there was a cut point between <laughs> edit between, point uh, between that last one and this one. How can a man choose between fresh, fresh and, and fly? fly? Yeah, man. It's weird how popularity do, works do, do. too. Like, you know how like. Goo Goo Dolls were super, super famous in the 90s. Yeah. Like, it was, like, alternative rock stations oh, and pop stations played the shit out of, like, all the Goo Goo Dolls singles or whatever. Now, if you go on, like, iTunes, there's, like, no reviews on their old yeah. albums and stuff. It's, like, crazy how, like, all the people are gone. I don't know? know how to get those other... Yeah, there's probably something you, from, you didn't learn about because oh you didn't do God. all the... I don't know. Donkey Kong just went fucking ape shit. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want a gorilla to go ape shit. <laughs> That's like not a good thing when a gorilla goes ape shit. Oh man, all that Harambe shit though. Dicks out for Harambe. Will Harambe be there? Harambe <laughs> loved free tickets. <laughs> <laughs> it sh they should be free because Harambe paid the ultimate price. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of Harambe <laughs> memes out there. <laughs> oh my god, dicks out for Harambe. <laughs> I just love the like uh, that is funny on so many levels to me. Just like <laughs> internet funny people fuck know, Winky. know exactly what's going on. Fuck Winky and fuck his walkway. This is Winky's walkway. Yeah. Who calls a thing a walkway? Winky does. <laughs> <laughs> I can get bananas again, but not all of them again. This music is pretty dank. Do, 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 do. It's pretty moody in here. Mm -hmm. There's like vultures flying back and forth, five foot circles. How are you supposed to? Maybe there's like a way if you have I think your hands would to touch like get it if higher. You jump just right there. Yeah, you just like there's got to be a way if you have if you have Diddy Kong with you that you can jump higher. I bet it. Yeah, I bet you can like somehow double jump or some shit. Perhaps by pressing the jump button twice. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll see. Let me get let me get a little DK back. A little DK. Boom. It doesn't look like it's working. <laughs> <laughs> what if I hit more buttons? Maybe it's a thing where like you get a, oh that was that was clearly it. That when you put your hands behind your back. I think that's just 
the oh, is clap that? animation. Okay. Or, it's like high fives behind me. Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, what if what if Donkey didn't routine. put his hands behind him there for that animation? <laughs> then it would just look like Diddy's slapping his ass. Oh. We can, can jump. jump in a minecart. That Indiana Jones, though. I was such a... I was so obsessive-compulsive as a kid that in games like this, in platformers where you have to collect a, a thing, I always completely abandoned all hope of ever getting any of them. Because <laughs> if I wanted to get any of them, I had to get all of them. Yeah. So, like, I just, like, didn't ever try to get the collectibles at all. I didn't understand that, because I, I, in Spyro the Dragon, I think there totally is a mechanic where, like, you get a thing if you get all of them. Yeah, I think you get crystals or whatever, and I don't know what crystals are for, but... But, like, uh, in, in most of them, it, it, there's not, like, a reward for getting all of them. It's just, like, when you get 20 of them or whatever, you get a life, you know? It depends on the game. There's, like... Usually that's how it works, though. Like, that's how it works in Sonic and Mario. You know, like, you just get, like, a hundred rings and that yeah. gives you a life. So, basically. like, you basically just should try to get the rings that you can get, but not worry about it if you can't get some of them. This is how you're supposed to approach it. But I could not think that way yeah. as a child. <laughs> I couldn't do it. Speaking of Indiana Jones, mm -hmm. did you see that, um, that world's biggest aircraft crash thing? No. There's just like this ridiculous fucking aircraft that someone's trying to make. Mm -hmm. And it's it's basically just like a big blimp. Okay. Just like filled with helium. Okay. And it's like a hybrid like airplane blimp helicopter. Isn't isn't it a terrible idea though when you do that? Don't they catch on fire really easily? I think it's like a bad idea for a lot of reasons. <laughs> and uh -huh. so they were like test flying it and it fucking crashed a like twice already. Yeah. And the chick's name would be Candy. She's gross. She's pretty gross, yeah. Hyper feminine, super sexist. I'm gonna take a barrel flat. Yeah. Back to Winky's walkway. So what about this blimp? What were you just telling me? I d I'm just bringing up the fact that it exists. Uh, it's like ridiculous. But it crashed? Yeah, like kind of gently. It like was a hard landing, quote unquote, or whatever. Uh -huh. Just like. Why is somebody tried to. Why are you talking about Indiana Jones with this, though? Because uh, I brought it up because of the minecart sequence. Brought up Indiana Jones because of the minecarts. But what does Indiana Jones have to do with the biggest airplane? Because it's the blimp in Indiana Jones. The fucking Zeppelin that they that Indiana Jones and Sean Connery fly in. Uh huh. That's like a fucking thing <laughs> that happens. Do they fly in a Zeppelin? Yeah. I what are you talking about? I thought they flew in an airplane. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't, think I don't that remember was what plane. happened. I don't remember what they fly in in that. I remember how they got Hitler's autograph. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn. That's such a good joke. Those movies, Those are, movies great. are so good. Yeah. Yeah. We're getting a bunch more movies. You bet it, stuff. A bunch more movies? We got the uh, Ghibli fucking collection. Oh, yeah. The Blu-ray collection because you can't buy them digitally. So. Yeah, which is really strange. Really retarded. Kind of annoying. Yeah, we're going to like do a watch through of all of those with Neil or whatever because he doesn't like awesome stuff. So we have to watch, <laughs> we have to watch lame artsy stuff <laughs> with him instead. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen a lot of them. I've they're, seen like a, a few. Most of them are great. The thing I'll say about Ghibli movies is that, yeah, most of them are great, but not the ones that everybody thinks are great a lot of the time. Yeah. Like, like 
I would say Spirited Away is not one of the better ones. And everybody everybody knows about Spirited Away. And it's weird that everybody knows about Spirited Away because it's just like not not that good oh, yeah. compared to a bunch of <laughs> I just redid the nice. previous level. Nice job, man. Um, we're going to watch Princess Mononoke yeah. on Saturday, which I yeah, I'm that. excited about. Princess Mononoke is, but it looks awesome. is one of the cases where everybody thinks it's great and I think it's great. There's yep. a lot of good things about Spirited Away, but it's just like, I just, it just doesn't like. I, it's got great animation me. and it's interesting to watch, yeah. but like, I don't care about the characters or the story at yeah, all. Yeah, basically, yeah. Which is the main criticism I have of all of the Miyazaki movies I don't like that much. Like Totoro, I, I'm just like, meh. Yeah, it's, it's just kind of pretty people similar. wandering around and nothing's really happening or whatever. Yeah. I'm, I'm much more interested in the ones that are more traditional, straightforward stories, just like. Well, okay, it's just some Star Wars shit. It's just like a hero's journey thing. Yeah. Know? Like Whisper of the Heart, it's like a coming of age story, and Kiki's Delivery st Service is like a coming of age story, and Palm Poker, not Palm Poker, fucking fuck Palm, Palm Porker. Uh, Porco Rosso is like, is like a like a fucking redemption story kind of thing. Yeah, it's, it's just good. like when it's when it's like a bunch of like like really strange fantasy stuff going on and that's I'm, like I'm the even thing really, about it. I'm totally into the really strange fantasy stuff. I just need there to be an actual plot in that. Yeah. It's the thing that Kurt Vonnegut like, talked about. Like when I think the thing that he said is when you abandon plot, you abandon all hope of like reaching your like you when you abandon plot, you abandon your reader and that's not fair to your reader because the whole point the whole point of this is for to make a thing for your reader to enjoy and follow. So if you don't have a plot, like an actual straight, like you gotta have somebody want something, basically. Oh, I got three. Oh. I think it's just, yeah, it's like oh. stage. Now we're getting more gold Can fishies. you just go through those middle things? No. It just kind of looks like you can. This is weird. What is the point of this? I guess I get this a life. Is, this probably. is in Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you play as a swordfish trying to get all the all the other little swordfish, the little golden. So I like the other swordfish. <laughs> 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 I like the dog in the little red doggy. The other day we were talking about Fox and the Hound, and <laughs> Eek was talking about how the dog did something with the other dog, <laughs> and I was like, "You mean with the fox?" <laughs> And our joke now is like he's some Norwegian guy and they don't have a word for fox. Fox <laughs> is just other dog or whatever. Little red dog. The little red dog with the bushy <laughs> tail. <laughs> he is the cute one. I got two. The fox is clearly not the cute one. Like the cute <laughs> one is that little fucking bloodhound. Holy <laughs> shit. Yeah, fox is a little lives. asshole. That's a story about friendship. <laughs> this is a hard level. It goes on for a long time. I wonder if there's uh. a person who like gets off on sadness so they just like all they consume is real sad stuff so they just like read where the red fern grows and flowers for Algernon. That movie is or that book is whack. The book is toe up. <laughs> Fuck that book. You Fuck know about flowers for Algernon, right? Mm, yes. That's the one where there's like the guy, the, the retarded guy, <laughs> who, who like slowly gets smarter because of some drug or whatever that they give to him, I think. Is it John Travolta? I, there might have been a movie of it. I don't know if there's a movie of it, but uh, basically he gets smarter and... Yeah. But then, like, his, he's got some kind of, like, brain degenerative disorder. So, like, he gets really smart and he learns a bunch of stuff and then he realizes that he's going to go back to being stupid again. Yeah. And it's real sad or whatever. 